What is up y'all, it's the guy Kai out here on a nice frosty day here in Shanghai, China. Welcome to another study of vlog episode. I'm here on Wudong Lu, which is Wudong Road. And we're right on the stretch of the entrance to the North Campus over there. My dad's about to arrive and I think I'll take you all on a campus tour today. So let's get it. Yep, there he is. Hey, how was it? Finally. Yeah. <laughs> well, since Dad is here for the weekend, I decided today would be a good day to show him and you guys um, a little bit about the campus. Today we'll get into a pretty comprehensive little review of Fudan University. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. So this is most of the foreign student living area. I think you can tell because we're blue. So that's the main building, and then these are the sub buildings. This is generally more well maintained, and then these, um, they're nice, but there's no elevators, and I feel like they don't maintain them as well. Like, I've heard a lot more horror stories about the apartment being really nasty when people came in, but when I got into my room, it was super nice and so super clean. So where's your room? Which side? I'm on the fifth floor. Oh, over there? Yeah. Have you seen this side yet? Uh, yeah, I've been into some of the rooms. So if you guys have a choice, try to cop a main building because I feel like you'll have a better time. But sub buildings aren't bad either. Yeah, mom. No. Yeah, there's just cats everywhere. Mm. Like specifically in this um, cat perimeter. Cat? No, it's like a bunch of stray cats. They're so the guardians. They've got us foreign students fenced off with electric fencing and all that. The guards are actually pretty anal about who they let in and out. They'll usually ask you for your room key. And over there, you got Kuang Ha Tower. Pretty much the icon of the university. Super huge, 28 floors. And um, that is essentially the middle point of Handan's North Campus. So at the moment, FSA dorms are pretty much all the way north. So that's how you know you're at the very top of the North Campus. You can see the FSA building over there. And this is the canteen. So it's less than like a five minute walk. There's the main building, and this is our gym right here. And it's not really too obvious what's what. There is no sign saying it's a gym. So this is the North Gym. Now you know, I had no clue when I first got here. A good amount of weights in there, not the best. They've got basketball courts, they've got badminton courts, and they have a dance room. So yeah, this is basically that stretch that you're gonna have to walk down every day going to class. Yeah, there's still bikes and mopeds. Where? What, is it a dry cleaner? I suppose it is, yeah. I haven't used it. I actually haven't used many of these services, but they're here if you need them. There's a family mart right there, which is like Chinese 7-Eleven. So you can always just grab a drink or a bite to eat before you hit a class. There's a tower right there. You can choose one of two ways. They're generally the same amount of walking or biking, whichever you prefer. You know you're going in the right direction when you start seeing a bunch of really nice trees and also if you're walking closer to the tower. <laughs> so if the tower is getting bigger, then that's how you know you're getting to campus. Since I've gotten here, the campus trees have been beautiful and green. It just reached October, so I'm not sure how much longer it's going to stay that way. I think the leaves are starting to fall, but I'm appreciating it while I can. And I'm sure it'll look nice in the autumn too. And there you go, there it is. And you know you're right in the center of North Campus when you have to crane your head 90 degrees to look at it. <laughs> Pretty incredible, right? We're gonna try going inside. Damn, we got a lot of cameras. Whoa. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. So we're on the 15th floor. I feel like not many people know about this place, but there's actually a little study center slash cafe that's open to the public. Hey. Look at this place. This place is super chill. Very nice view. You can actually see the skyline from here too. Very nice. So this is the East Canteen right next to the east tower of Guanghua. Mm -hmm. 
So this one, it's very nice, but it's a little bit more pricey. But it's not even that bad because by pricey, I mean like 15, 18 kwai. There's even a really nice bakery and cafe right here. If you want to just grab something on the go. So we took a 10 minute walk from the East Cafeteria back to Wuchiao Chang. And now we're inside a Walmart. One of the only Chinese Walmarts I know about. Even though Walmart is originally blue, you'll notice in China that everything is red. Everything. Because China really, 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 really likes red. Got my comforter and a good amount of stuff for the winter. Okay, yeah, we didn't. <laughs> being in Walmart still feels like being in America. Since you're so fine If it's up to me, your face will change